What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and another daily vlog as I head into central London and this is what I've been talking about or drumming in for the last two months. I'm so excited about heading into central London. All of the cars coming over from the Arab states are slowly arriving and throughout the week there's going to be some fantastic new arrivals which is why I'm heading up at some random time about half past 11 to head into central London, hopefully get there around lunchtime and see what is going on. I've got a huge list of cars that I need to see today. There's a red 918 from Dubai, there's a red La Ferrari with a number plate 107. Uh, there's a brown carbon Veyron that was here last year. There's a few Aventadors that are looking super mean. And this was the whole idea, merging the daily vlogs together with the supercar spotting for the next six weeks. It's going to be insane. There's going to be lots and lots of cool stuff happening and it starts really today. It did start the weekend, but as you know, I didn't spend my time uh, this weekend in London. So as you would have seen yesterday's vlog or announcement, I'm doing a live supercar spotting Periscope broadcast this Friday at 6pm. So make sure that you're following me on there at Wallace P. EJW. Typical. Trains just left as I arrive. <sighs> Made it to London and I'm just gonna vlog a hotel tour around Mayfair and Knightsbridge to begin with. So I'm starting in the back streets of London as you can see. Mm, whether it's focusing or not. Who knows? But I'm just gonna wander around with this camera, try and preserve the battery by just checking hotels on this camera. Got my Sony Handycam for the car spotting elements of today, but fingers crossed, hotels are gonna have some insane cars parked outside. At this sort of time, not many of them driving. It's merely just parked up. Nothing in this car park. Nothing. Now we're at the Dorchester with, oh, look at that. No, but these are the exciting stuff. So we've seen these two cars before. But these two are new. We've got a Stealth Aventador, which I'm pretty sure has got stock exhaust systems. And this one is, looks like a wasp or a bumblebee. Pretty cool wheels. Quite dirty already. What do you reckon to this one? About getting run over. Would you prefer the Aventador or the F12? So a few hotels in and not much is actually on the surface or visible and we're coming up to the Park Tower Hotel which is here and we're in Knightsbridge now, Mayfair was pretty disappointing, the Dorchester had four supercars and we're hoping, or I'm hoping, that there's going to be some cool stuff outside here. Oh, going to get run over, we've got the Wira and a 458. Almost like Nardo Grey. I am truck spotting. So any truck that looks like it could potentially have a car coming from the airport. It's big enough for a car, but it's definitely not a car loader. This is the best sort of position to be, to look out for trucks that potentially could have cars in them. And then we've got to hope that they've actually got a car in them. So it's a long process. Oh my god, so I'm doing a film on the 918 getting washed like in the middle of Brompton Road, which is the main road in and out of London. And you can hear this V12 come towards us, and we're like, oh, that's an Aventador. And turn around, blue chrome Tron Aventador. So the first time that it's been seen, and now we're going to be hunting it down and trying to work out. It had like a Wraith as a bodyguard, but insane. Was not expecting to see that as I was just filming a, a separate video of the 918 just getting a detail in the middle of central London, which is quite outrageous as it is. So 4.30 over there, but time to hunt down this Aventador.
time is 10 to 5. Not too much as driving around, which is annoying. Bits and pieces, as you would have seen, but I'm now walking down a quiet side street in London to just get some time to check Instagram, Twitter, and try and head around the corner to a couple of hotels and see what is going on. You would have seen that yesterday. It's the problem with daily vlogs. Anything going on? You hear rumours about cars driving around. Or you just hear them. That sounds like something. So from Monday, it's been quite good. Four new arrivals at the moment, only four. Um, hopefully more to come this afternoon. But I'm amazed at how many car spotters, photographers there are out here. It's a Rolls Royce. It's uh, pretty insane and awesome to see though, like how many car enthusiasts are now coming out and checking out and uploading to Instagram and Twitter. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. It's now turned into a lunch slash dinner trip with Sam. So basically I persuaded him to finish work early so that we could go and get Nando's. So we're gonna go to Nando's. <laughs> I was vlogging on my new camera. Oh, it's so embarrassing. <laughs> it's not a good look, is it? You're like a tourist looking like, oh. It's What's not a good look? This car? Shit. No, it's not the greatest look, to be honest. Uh, it looked better with titanium wheels. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, this is the first time I've seen Simon. I don't even know. Probably, uh... What, an hour? Oh, we're not, telling, we're not telling them about that. No, because I didn't vlog it. Oh, okay. I think a, I, I think a so. car shop. I haven't seen him. I've been avoiding him. Yeah, yeah. so where, where are we going? Nando's. Nando's. Tronline. CLA. Qatari Rolls Royce Wraith. <laughs> this is a Qatari AMG, even though it's got, looks like it's got English plates. Qatari AMG GT and a lovely Mac Ray. Can you guess? I would predict there'd be a Wraith up here. A there purple. is a Wraith, a purple oh. Wraith on Qatari plates. My next guess is the baby blue Aston Martin. Mm, I'm yeah. guessing it's going to look similar to my R8. I think it's just be, a guess. It'll be after this. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Monster truck. Monster truck combo with that. That's quite funny. As you can see, I've skipped maybe an hour and a half or so. I just got the train home after um, a little cruise around London in Sam's Force. It was good to catch up with him, albeit very briefly on camera. Uh, we spent quite a long time in Nano's catching up and sorting a few things out, getting ready for the summer, which I'm really excited about. And as you can see, now I'm slowly, or hopefully, merging the daily vlogs together with supercar spotting. And fingers crossed, you guys are enjoying these new style of daily vlogs going into London. And I'm back again tomorrow and again on Wednesday evening, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I'm gonna be in London pretty much every single day making sure that I am there. When all the new arrivals come, all of the new supercars that are coming into London, I'm hopefully gonna be able to film for you guys whilst daily vlogging as well so you know what I'm up to behind the camera of the Supercars of London lens, which, you, which is here. Now it's time to get home and edit this video before it all happens again tomorrow. Who knows what's going to come into central London. Let me know in the comment box below on what you want to see in central London and you want me to film. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.